Hey folks, today I'm going to be taking a look at a classic. This is a Lucid Eye miniature of Frank Frazetta's Death Dealer. Okay, today I'm going to be taking a look at a miniature from Lucid Eye. Uh, they are an official um, licensee of Frank Frazetta's Death Dealer. So what does that mean? It means they get to create miniatures based on Gath of Baal, or the Death Dealer, as he's known. So there's the iconic artwork. Strange to think that that is uh, almost 50 years old. On the back, you get the little blurb. It is a metal miniature. You get a 40mm round base, which will be coming off immediately and going in favour of a rectangular base, like nature intended it. You get the Death Dealer body and his steed, which is one piece. It is a stallion, in case you're wondering. Um, so yeah, it's a relatively crisp cast. Decent level of detail on the chain. Horse's reins. It's a slight, slight mismold there on the reins. Although that could be covered up with painting. Good detailing on the, uh, I suppose it's a saddle cloth under the, uh, the saddle there. Again, full chain mail. Details on his chest piece as well. Starting to lose a bit of detail on the bob tail, although it is supposed to be that length. You also get a little bag, which contains Mr. Dealer's head, his axe, sword and shield with that rather remarkable phoenix come eagle on it. So, pushing those aside, I've built one. I haven't cleaned them up yet, um, so the only cleaning I did was enough to get them glued together couple of things to note. There are no instructions and if you look up Death Dealer you'll generally find that image. Uh, although I do know Frazetta drew him from multiple angles because there's concept sketches out there in internet land. Um, the shield, which is more or less correctly presented there, um, it has quite a wide tooth gap on the back. Let's see if I can show that. So there's quite a lot of slippage when you're attempting to put this on. There's no one specific place for it. The uh, It just glues to the arm somewhere and it's really a case of trying to find where you want that. The head sits a bit more comfortably. Um, there are a couple of little sort of nubs on the neck just from the cloak which means it has to be positioned in that and then likewise this arm uh, might be due to rest on this flattened piece at his knee but I can't see how it does that and still connect to this join so I'm quite happy with that this gave me the biggest trouble because there's no assembly instructions that is the correct silhouette based on the artwork in fact if I bring the artwork back in you can see chain and sword. There's no real other place for that to go except into this sort of groove towards the rear. Um, I have seen that chain go over the shoulder on some other pieces based on Frazetta's work but I'm assuming it glues there because if you put it anywhere else you won't get the silhouette. Uh, also this, if you can make that out, is not a miscast. It's actually supposed to be representative of the blood mark on his axe. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and file that off because I don't like huge clumpy blood. I'll just paint the blood on with an effect when I get around to it. But if you're trying to preserve the miniatures, be aware that there is a mold line at the top where it was connected to the sprue gate, but that is not a um, 
an artifact that is actually sculpted on there and supposed to be there, so don't go removing it. But all in all, it's a nice piece of kit. For people wondering about the size, and whether or not you can fit this into your games, he is 50 mil to the top of his hat from the bottom of the base. So hoof to hat, 50 mil. The horse itself is fairly beefy. If I bring in a 28 mil, so this is a um, Sarmatian cataphract cavalry, you can see he is much more of a collector's piece than he is of a scale figure. In fantasy, that may not be as big a concern because often figures are a lot bigger in fantasy anyway, but he is more of a a collector and painter's piece than a miniature for wargaming. And I would suspect most people will probably pick it up for that reason. Okay, so that was the Death Dealer. Lovely sculpt, um, very minimalist, as is, well, makes sense really. It is Frazetta's artwork it's based on, so there's an awful lot of shadow going on there. And uh, it's open to interpretation, I think, a lot of it. But it's the first of many. Uh, let me know if you're going to be picking one of these up to add to an army or just to paint up for yourself. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.